At first sight, this might look like a regular panorama photo of Munich, but this image has a lot more to offer. It was taken with a scan back and has a record-breaking resolution of more than 1,400 megapixels. Photos taken with a scan back are impressive enough just based on their enormous pixel count. But what is really impressive is the resulting sharpness, detail, and color resolution. This is thanks to a special image capture method which is fundamentally different from photography using chipbacks or digital cameras. While in digital cameras, the three color sensors for red, green, and blue are arranged side by side in a pattern, in scanbacks, each image pixel is sampled using three color sensors. This is why the megapixel counts cannot be compared directly with digital cameras. This can be easily explained using our panorama photo. In order to produce this photo in a comparable resolution using images from a high-quality digital reflex camera, it would take more than 50 individual images. Let's take a closer look at one of these digital photos. Here we see the typical shortcomings of digital cameras and chipbacks, because here, the image is interpolated from an array of monochromatic pixels. Based on this principle, the image is always slightly blurred. Using different interpolation algorithms can sharpen the image to some degree, but fine details and surface structures will be lacking nevertheless. In photos taken with a scan back, this is completely different. Subtle details can be captured, and fine surface structures are clearly visible. Especially the details in shadow areas, which usually fall victim to interpolation in digital cameras, are distinctly visible in our picture. In addition, digital cameras have other disadvantages due to the linear arrangement of their monochrome sensors. Let's take a look at this simple color gradient. A CCD or CMOS chip from a digital camera or from a chip back uses its sensors to detect red, green and blue in an array, also known as the Bayer pattern. Due to physical proximity, the signals are also interpreted by neighboring pixels in a phenomenon known as crosstalk. This causes each pixel to also contain portions of false colors. The digital camera records this and captures the image. This is what is saved as raw format. The camera interpolates the image and creates a photo. This is exactly what a raw converter does on a computer, only with more processing power and more complex algorithms. The disadvantages of this principle remain and are multiplied with every defective pixel. Let's take a look at the scan back in comparison. Here, the three colors are captured for each pixel. Crosstalk only happens within a color and only within a row, therefore being indiscernible. The raw format generated with the scan back is already a fully usable complete image in perfect quality. You and your customers will be able to identify one or more surprising details in the pictures taken with a scan back. Renke Scanbacks enable you to achieve superior digital photographic quality. Digital large format photos for large format results.